Hey guys, I had a request to make a video on catch, clean, and cook puffer. This is the northern puffer. I caught a bunch of these two days ago. I actually had to work yesterday, so I kept these guys on ice. And um, I was going to clean them today anyway, so might as well go ahead and make a video about it. Um, northern puffer is a bycatch for me. Um, they're going to eat shrimp and crabs and the things that I'm using for bait. So I'm not going to go out and target these things, but I catch a bunch of them and I always keep them because they're very easy to clean and they're very delicious. Um, and you know, people always say, are they poisonous? Um, there's a species of puffer that's poisonous in Japan, but these fish are perfectly fine to eat. There's nothing poisonous about them. Um, so let's go ahead and see how to clean them. Filter just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go. I've already cleaned several of these fish. I'm getting pretty good at it now. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and put myself onto a clock and see how quickly I can go ahead and get this done. All right. Going to trim right here behind these two little bumps on the back of his head behind the pectoral fins. Straight down through the skin, through the backbone, and down to the bottom skin. I'm gonna peel back the top piece of skin here. Pull out some of these guts, slide it on down. It's like cleaning a dove, really. fork in and grab it with the pliers. Oh, that comes right off. All right. Now, for the winglets. And strips of meat. There it is, I'm done. Two boneless, skinless strips of puffer fish. Ready, go. Done. So we're doing a fish fry tonight and what better to have with fried fish than coleslaw and french fries. Uh, I preheated my air fryer so I'm going to go ahead and put my fries in. I'm going to cook those for about 20 minutes. And for our coleslaw, um, we're using a half a head of cabbage, a half cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of milk, and an eighth of a cup of sugar.
and we'll salt and pepper to taste. Alright, so we got this all mixed up. We'll go ahead and put it in the fridge and let it chill while we're cooking. So we're going to be frying our fish in cast iron today. And you're going to want to go ahead and let this completely warm up before you put your fish in. So we're going to get this going while we're breading our fish. I'm going to set this on about six. Alright, and here's our puffer. And I went ahead and counted these. Um, we had 14 fish, so we have 28 fillets. Um, this is perfect amount for uh, for dinner, and we'll probably have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. And fish is really good the next day uh, for lunch, so I like to make extra anyway. So I'm using here is New Orleans style seasoned fish fry, and I'm gonna make two different batches of fish. One's gonna be regular, and one's gonna be spicy. So we'll do the regular first. And for my spicy batch, I'm actually going to use the Louisiana style. I'm going to add hot sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot, so it's like a buffalo sauce. And spicy brown mustard. that up Get to stir the fries. Just shake them up. This air fryer is so nice. All right, looks like the oil's hot now for sure. Let's go ahead and add this fish. You always want to be careful when you're dealing with cast iron. Don't ever just grab the handle. Always make sure you got some, a pot holder or something to, to grab that with, because it will burn you. These look like they're ready to come off. I'm going to give these just a dash of Old Bay. And let's get the, the real fish in the pan. If you haven't tried putting hot sauce on your fish before you cook it, just do yourself a favor. It is absolutely tremendous flavor. Um, you won't regret it. And those are done. Check those out. And 
And I think the fish is done. And pull them. There it is, folks. We're going to go ahead and make some plates, and we'll be right back with you. Is that barbecue sauce? No, this is cocktail sauce. Are we going to try it? No, what wait a second. This? Hold on. What <laughs> you going for french fries? <laughs> Brayden, what's the fruit of the sea? Uh, puffer fish. Is it your favorite? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I'll try it. Good. <laughs> Evan, Good. try the puffer. You know you love it. What do you think about it? Mmm. It's kind of a tiny spicy. I put some Old Bay on it. It's not <laughs> spicy. How about you, Mama? Mmm. It's so good. It's just a a thick piece of white. It's white meat, flaky you meat. Know? It's just. Um, well, y'all don't know what you're missing mm, with this. This is very good. This exactly Hot looks sauce. like a banana. I wouldn't think that I would like that, but I do. It's very mild. You can flavor it with anything. It's one of my favorites. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat too fast, so good. It's great with homemade coleslaw and homemade french fries. Wait, Daddy, is this all puffer? It's puffer. All of it? All of it. Lucky. <laughs> mm. I like that it doesn't have a fishy taste because I don't like fish that taste like fish. Mm -hmm. Like a fishy, you know, it's fresh caught. You can tell. It's just, you know, breaks apart. It's very good for you. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you give it? Two thumbs up? Uh, what do you think? I mean, yes. yes. Two or just one? Inside. Two or just one? One finger to the side. <laughs> you eating them puffers. <laughs> Eat your puffer. Wow. No, no. Don't choke on it now. Goodness. That's a protein snack, isn't it, boy? <laughs> Oh, 